Investors. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey, Robin, how you doing, man? Yes, and thank you for taking my call. I wanted to let you know that I've been a subscriber for a couple of years, just different members of your team, and I really enjoy it. But really the reason I'm calling is to express my sincerest gratitude for you providing that information information yesterday on the small business grant. I'm a small business owner and primary breadwinner for my family. And if I can get that money, it's going to really mean a lot to my family. So that's awesome. thank you for uh, taking the time to do that. No, uh, well, listen, man, we appreciate you growling a problem with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Serve the one you love. Once you decide to be a couple, they're, you're there to serve the one you love, to serve your love to your love. And every kiss and every touch, you feel it. You, you are there to please the one you love without expecting anything back. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 36. NASDAQ is up 30. S&P is up 6.5. Gold contract up $8.70. Traded at 1827 an ounce. We got silver up 42 cents, $23.24 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck 31. $82.53 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note. Up five ticks, trading 128.17. The 30 year up two at 156 flat and King Dollar. King Dollar's down 679 ticks, trading at 94.947. Euro is at 114. The yen's at 114.48. And the British pound's at 137 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we had out here yesterday, they went to higher price, had a contraction of volume. We're going to have another contraction of volume out here. Bottom line, you're coming into Thursday, Friday. You're coming into Martin Luther King holiday. You've got to remember, Monday, the markets are closed in the United States, folks. Bottom line, I expect this S&P is going to go right up to the highs once again. Uh, the contraction's out here. So when we had come downtown, we came downtown with 119 million shares. Yesterday, we went up with 74 million Today, we'll probably do about 50, no, 60 rather. We're at 49 right now, 65 probably. So you can see that, that contraction. NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX. The difference with the NDX in my own speculation is that this won't get to the highs. The reason being is that we, are already, we already have the aspect of um, three lower lows and two lower highs. That is the definition of a downtrend, folks. And that would be a, a total change of trend. There's no doubt about that. And we'll see how the baby shakes out. But I suspect what you're going to see is this. We come down with 91 million. Yesterday, we went up with 68. We're at 45 right now. I'll probably do about 55. And as you get higher, it'll keep contracting. That's, that's just a really nice setup. Sell it. You, you're going for, and the Qs, you're going for 350. I suspect it's going to get to 400. It's at 387, 86 right now. Gold. Gold contract out here caught a bid. We caught a bid out here yesterday. You get some follow through. You get some follow through in the equities in a big way. Uh, gold right now is up 840. Looks like it's going to go after the swing point tomorrow. So this is going to be interesting because the swing here on gold is 1833 and you need uh, 168,000 contracts for an ABC structure up. Well, it has it has the, the volume even today. And if that's what we get, let me see, 17.53. So you got what, 47, 57, 67, 77, 80 bucks, which would get you 1860. 1860. What's that? Yeah, we're going to the swing high. 
So, so yeah, yeah, if you take your ABC structure, it, it lines up really nice. The swing high is out there. Good old King Doll. Actually, let's go to the oil market first. Let's take a look at oil because oil is on its way up to like $107. This is quite a move, man. Okay, so you just overtook the, the highs out here at 82.13 today. You get 377,000 contracts, which is big contract volume. Yep. You're going, man. You're going topside. In fact, oh, look at this. Is another, this is another ABC up here, too. It's probably going to hit the same thing. 66, 76, 14, 77, 87, 90, 1. Right now, you get a confirmed ABC structure up to 91. Right now, you're trading 82. And good old King Dollar. So, King Dollar, it's pretty amazing that uh, King Dollar uh, finally broke its consolidation. And you can see this thing. You know, if this was, if this was an equity, it would have been a lot easier basically dealing with it because it would have had volume and we would have saw volume down the bottom here. But you can see this is a long consolidation, man. This is a consolidation since I think Christmas Eve. And you broke it. And what that sets up now is going back to the breakout area. The breakout area for the dollar is 94,967. No, 93, sorry. <laughs> because we're trading at 94,967. 93, another, another penny down. Right now, you're down 677 ticks. And what you're going to see here is that we had a break top side in the euro. Euro had been consolidating sideways. That just blew away its bottom. That's setting up a euro at 116, and right now we're at 114. We go look at the British pound. They're all, they're all going the right direction if you happen to be in the metals market, folks, if you happen to be a bull in the metals market. Um, British pound, same deal, big topside move out here. And then we go over to the yen, and what you're going to see, the yen in particular is definitely going the way for us uh, gold bulls. The yen is going down. You know, we hit a high of last week of 116 or 114.50, and that's saying that the yen's going to make its way back to the 112, and we'll see what ends up happening uh, at that 112 area. So it's you got you got a lot of moving pieces here now. Copper, oh man, look at this thing. This <laughs> this is uh, this took off yesterday. It followed through today, you know, in a, in a monster way. Took out its consolidation yesterday. It stopped moving. Today, it took out the whole consolidation. Copper's up 13 pennies at 456. That's on the way to 477. And of course, uh, at whether, it, you know, we look at any of these copper stocks um, and copper and gold, they're, they're up big time. You got Freeport McMoran, that that's a breakout. Uh, TGB, I was looking at TGB last night too. Was, is this up like 20 or 30 cents? Eight cents, okay, because TGB wants to go to this high out here. So that's, that's, that's got action. And then uh, the largest copper stock in the world is SCCO. And yeah, I'll do, I'll do TGB. I'm going to go off all of these as soon as we come back. Um, oh, yeah, look at that CCO. You talk about a breakout. Whoa, baby, this is a big breakout. 67, 54, 74, 78. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Our phone number is 877 Nine two seven six six four eight. We have the Dow Industrials right now trading down seventeen. Nasdaq is up thirty four. S and P's up eight and a half. We'll come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, down 11, and we get the NASDAQ uh, up 36. S&Ps are up 8.5. Let's go to Jose in uh, Lakeland. Jose, what's going on, brother? Hey there, Tom. Tom, I have a question. If you've got a toothache, you don't stand in front of a mirror and open your mouth and try to do it yourself. You call a professional, correct? That's for sure. And if you need a colonoscopy, uh, same thing. You don't, you know, you get what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay, so that's why I call your show, Tom, to get the facts. Oh, you had too um, much. <laughs> I even installed Google out of my computer. I don't need it anymore. I just call you the answer, man. Oh, my God. You are too funny. Okay, so let's take a look at Cadence Design here. The lows, 118. The highs, 192. You're trading 169. Man, when, when this when the market came back, this came back kind of hard, huh? Uh-huh, yeah. I noticed that. So my question to you is October 1, 2, 3, 4, that you were talking about, October 4th, uh, that you're looking to fill. Uh, where does that bring the Dow? Where does that bring Cadence? Okay, so... In other words, how bad can it get? Yeah, right. And Cadence, it's 145. Wow. And it hit really? 160. Uh -huh. And see, that what you have here, this is what... Okay, so I mean, well, one for it. The, the cool thing here, Jose, is this. Okay, is that you see all the volume that you have in March, like those yep. highs at one forty-seven, and then even you know it went down. But you can use the top of that too at, at one forty-four on the thirtieth of April. You know, I think it'd be hard to break that. You know, so, I mean, you might bounce around the consolidation for a while and be frustrated for a year or something, but. I got you. So, Tom, October 4th, you're looking for that to be hit. If the volume is heavy, then look out below. Yes. Or is, is, yes. Uh, where does it bring the Dow October 4th if we hit those levels? Let's just take a look. Oh, on the Dow. Yeah, right? I know I'm with you, you right. Age. Because, look. Uh, Greenspan is saying he'll 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 tame inflation all by himself because he's Superman and uh, it, it won't hurt the labor market. Uh, I, I, why am I going to believe him now when he never saw it coming two years ago? Quite frankly, you're the only one that talked about inflation two years yeah. ago. So, so and the Dow Industrials is thirty three thousand seven hundred. So you know that's okay. twenty. Well, it's, that's three thousand. Uh, twenty five hundred lower. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, all right. Uh, At this point, uh, I would I would stay right where you are, man. Just keep your eye on it. Do you know what I mean? Because no, I I'm out of this. I've been long gone. Oh, you have. Uh, oh, okay. I'm, I'm looking to buy it back. Oh, okay. That's even better. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I was long gone on this. Um, all right. That's what I needed to know. At least I have some signposts to look at. Okay, brother. Have a great Thank one, man. Have a safe one. Okay, so let's go look at a few of these copper stocks. And we're going to start with Taseco. And uh, I, <laughs> this is where, you know what, folks, you, you, you're going to write things down all the time or speak into a microphone so you have it. Because last night I was looking at Taseco. Because my take is Taseco is going to make a run to this 260. And... If that's what you got, you might get an, an ABC structure up because what we've had is this. We've been going sideways for, uh, let's see, May of 2021. And, you know, the bottom line is if I put this closer, what you're going to see is we have a high volume high that it gave it up on price. They always love going back to those. That's 227. So you're at 218. And you know, the next leg up is 240, and then when you put this, if I go back to the copper contract for a second, this copper contract's on fire, man. I mean, let's see, HG1, let me put, I'm gonna put it on, on a, because you remember the last time that copper was going, it looks to me like copper's gonna go to all time highs. You know, the, la the last high I believe was at all time high, at 482 a pound, you're at 456, and 482 is coming at us again. That's that's the bottom line. <clears throat> Let's go to our man Frank in Gloucester. Frank, what's going on? Stocks are screaming. <laughs> yes, they are. They yes. Yeah, they are. I I was scratching my head over TGB, and then I looked at a monthly chart, and uh, the volume is just unbelievable in the last uptrend. It it is, and and what has happened too, folks, is that what you had is that. The copper run on the last run was extraordinary. Yeah, I just put this on. Oh, see, this is really cool. Yeah, see, okay, so, I, hey, thanks, Frank. I just put this on a monthly. I see what you're looking at. Because bottom line, yeah. folks, if this takes the 267 out, you get a beautiful ABC up. And it's, it's, a, <laughs> it's a nice ABC that would get it up until somewhere that they haven't been, this stock hasn't been to, since 2010. Yeah. On a monthly basis, if you want to scratch this down, you need 70 million shares, but that's at 267. But I think that's where it's going, man. I mean, you can see it pushing up into this, if it, if it can yeah. get that hey, close. It, it, yeah. Inflation is there, boy, I'll tell you. My, it is there, my too. My wife had some lady cry, literally crying on her shoulder at the supermarket yesterday. You know, she can't afford her groceries. Unbelievable. Yes. No, it's inside the grocery store, folks. It is so sad sometimes just seeing people that, you know, they look in the meat aisle. They can't be in the meat aisle. They, you know, yeah, it's intense, man. It's no, she, she couldn't buy chicken. Yeah. She couldn't afford chicken. Yeah. You know? No, I know. Not cool. Not cool at all. Hey, I'm looking for some way to play oil, and I wonder if you'd tell me what you think of OIH. Okay, let's take a look at it. This is the oil service ETF. So inside of this, let's just take a look. Okay, so you get Schlumberger, Halliburton, Baker Hughes. Okay, so Schlumberger and Halliburton, Schlumberger is 20%, Halliburton's 11 Baker Hughes is 8 Let's do this. Let's... I want to go right to Schlumberger first and take a look and see where this is first. Okay. Okay, so you, you have a breakout. Put this on a weekly. Oh, yeah, look at this. 36.87. So you're pushing with volume, 36.87. Okay, now let me do Halliburton. So Schlumberger is, is trying to break that whole consolidation. They're probably all the same. Let me just do this one. Halliburton almost broke it already. Let's see. Okay, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is it's good looking. The, this is good looking, exactly. Okay, yeah, now let's do the OIH. The high. Okay, so yeah. we got the OIH. And... The low for the year is 156. The high is 248. We're trading at 219. So weekly. 
Yeah, I mean, well, two forties game right now. I mean, it, and it, so, f folks, when you look at these, yeah. let me, I'm going to put this on a three year so you can see it. You always love what I always love is this. When you okay, so this has been a consolidation, but see the top of that consolidation. See that volume bar? It's huge, man. It wants to go to it. You know, we'll, we'll see whether it can break it, but that's two forties on the agenda. Two no, two forty eight is on the agenda there, man. You know, so the the June high, early June high. Yeah, the week of June fourth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you get enough okay, signposts there. I mean, because you know, you you can you can put your stop somewhere under. Well, I don't know. It's a long way down, man. Yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stay right there, Frank. We'll come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an Apex Predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we're talking with our man Frank from Gloucester, and we're talking about the oil service business. You know what's interesting, Frank, is that, you know, when you go through yeah. this, I went through a few more of these holdings, right? And yeah. So inside of them, okay, you know, what you have, you get Baker Hughes, of course. I went down to Transocean because I used to trade Transocean a lot. When you, when you take a look at this yeah. now, they're still losing money, okay? They're, they're $3.40. The yeah. revenue on this goes like this, folks, okay? So they're still, they're going to take in like $2.7 billion, but they look to lose money for another two and a half years. Well, uh, that's all I can see out, yeah. right? That being said, yeah. when you take a look at this chart, it's like, okay, you know, you're, you're, you're off the lows. We put this on a weekly. You're at 351. You know, you put this at a weekly. 
And you can see up at there at 513, you get some action. So I suspect what we really have going on is this. If, if you be believe, and I, I, my take is that we are going 105 on oil. It really, the real question then will be, folks, is that how long does it stay there? Because if it stays there, what we will see, these, these rigging companies will make money again hand over fist. You know, I mean, they're paranoid. And I don't blame them to be paranoid. They, they're not the paranoid. Let's say if you and I, uh, the Exxon Mobiles of the world and all that, we're going to say, hey, man, we're not going to sign any more contracts. You know, because rig is a deep water, you know, service of folks, okay? Um, but you might want to look at some of those equities inside of the OAH. I think there's going to be, okay. you know what I'm saying? There's, there's less risk for you once you, where you put the stop versus the whole deal. Um because okay. that's okay. not a bad setup, man. Uh, and it'll be easy, uh, you know, like a, you, you get the gist of it. I'm just, uh, sure, and, sure. and that's without, yeah. you know, this dollar, if this dollar does what I think it's going to do, all commodities are going to be more expensive in U.S. dollars. That's, well, they're going to be, right. they're going to be less expensive for everyone we're really selling the stuff to, folks, but they're going to be more expensive when you and I are buying them <laughs> because we buy with the U.S. dollar, you know. But. Hey, one other idea to plant with you. I'd yeah. like to know your, your take on mortgage rates, where you think you're going and when, uh, when you have a chance. No, this is great news. Yeah, you know what? I said I was doing the last two hours. I had Bud Spriggs on the phone. Oh, my God, this is too funny. Oh, really? And I was going through everything. I was going through... Single families, multis, uh, the whole bit, just because I wanted to get my own take on it, too. Uh, the bottom line is that they really haven't moved much, okay? Bottom line, single yeah. family house right now, you know, you're buying something, 3.50, 3.25, that's still there. Multifamily, now, these, now all the rates that I'm giving you right now, folks, these would be multi, well, these would be going through conventional loan, Freddie Mae, Freddie Mac, okay? Um, I just did... It doesn't even have to be Melties. Let's say that you own a bunch of single families or you own a single family and it's a rental. That right there, if you if you don't do a cash out, it's three point uh four point no four point two five. Four point two five. Um if you do a cash out, it's four point five zero. And what that means, folks, is this. Let's say you have a rental, let's say it's worth three hundred grand, and you've been getting rent on it, and now no, you bought it at three hundred grand. Now it's worth like four fifty or something. Okay, so if you just want to refinance the three hundred, the bottom line to be four and a quarter. You want to refinance to take, you know, basically money out. They'll do Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac will do seventy five percent of the value, assessed value, and that's four point five zero. So that's still not bad. And I think what we'll see, Frank, is this: there's there's so many people that finance number one, refinanced. The companies themselves need business, so their spread will come down somewhat. You see what I'm saying? And they're not going to go up as fast as people think they are. That's kind of where I suspect we're going. Um, okay. And okay. I'll call Bud. I should get Bud on because because you remember remember when when the ten year I mean when the yeah the ten year was at zero, and remember we were expecting the rates would even go down lower and lower. And, and what happened, right, folks, is that right. yeah, they they, yeah. they they stopped at like three two point eight five, you know. Right. And, and so what happens on the other side of that? And this was all about because at that price, folks, at, at the two point eight five to three, there were so m many of us that wanted to refinance. Okay, so they were you know bottom line, you know, they had plenty of business. I asked. But, you know, they have business, but nothing like they had. So, you know, okay. it, it's kind of a good scenario yeah. there. Yeah, I was trying to get my daughter into a house at that point. I had her waiting and waiting and waiting. <laughs> yes. She ended up getting it. You know, she's good. in a nice low threes, so that's good. That's huge. I know. 30 years low yeah. threes. Oh, my <laughs> God. Seriously, man. Especially. My first, my first one was like nine and three quarters. I was 14 and a half. 1971, yeah. Frank, 14 and a half percent. And you know what's so crazy? Yeah. So, folks, this is, this is crazy. Listen to this. The, 14 and a half percent. This is a triple decker in South Boston. My mortgage payment was $224. I'll never forget the I, I know every number because, of course, you're a kid and every <laughs> dollar meant like a million dollars now. It's like crazy, right? $224. <laughs> I was getting, I think, $165 rent. I lived on the second floor. And 
had a sub shop on the first floor, and now, we all know now, in South Boston, folks, that's a million dollars a floor now. So from 71, was well, it's 51 years. A million dollars a floor. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, and now what, what you definitely want to do, if you think rates are, are getting up too high, folks, okay, you want to wrap your head around what is the real rate. And the real rate is that you take the inflation rate and then you take the rate that you're actually paying, okay? And most of the time, at, at a, definitely at a three and a half, four percent, you are still in a negative, you know, basically rate. But, you know? Yeah. yeah. Cooking, yeah. brother. Hey, Southeast should be my hometown. See you later. Thanks. That's right. Well, yes, and you're a Notre Dame graduate, man. Who's kidding? Ooh, that's, that's even right. better. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Kidding me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They made me an honorary Irishman, Tom. Yeah, they had a. You know, I. Yeah, I they had. It, if, if, you must have had all those books. Uh, remember when you started school, the book covers? Oh, yeah. yeah. I used to fight for those cool. Notre Dame ones, man. God. Yeah, yeah. Those. <laughs> And who are, there's a couple others that I just love. I mean, the colors are extraordinary, no doubt. Yeah. Cooking, brother. Yeah. Have a great care, one, man. Bro. Have a safe one. Yes, the real, as one of the Tigers is saying, uh, the real rates are negative and they will be re negative for a while. I know it's a little tough to wrap your head around that, <clears throat> but it's important, folks, on the, on the context of a longer basis, because you can see what I'm talking about. How do you go from $14,000 in 1971, there's $3 million in 2021, right? <clears throat> well, of course, South Boston got gentrified. One second, you get killed. The next second, everything's $1,200 a foot, okay? So, yes, things have changed, okay? Like, they've changed in other cities. But when you put it together, um, there's not much you have to do. You just have to buy, don't sell, no matter what happens. And <clears throat> my take on real estate right now and in the future is the exact same thing. And the main reason, folks, is that there's so many funds that are in the real estate business, okay, that whatever you have, don't sell it. Don't ever sell it, okay? Because this is going to end up like London, you know, and it's already happening. If you've never been into London or Europe, no one owns anything, okay? They're leasehold backs. They're, this is where we're going, man. Another 50 years, that's where it's going to be. And if you own a house and you have income from a house, okay, it is absolutely where it's at. Dow Industrials down 13, NASDAQ is up 18, S&P's up 6. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. Pedro White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is down five. Nasdaq's up 19. S&Ps are up six and a half. Let me just see this. There we go. That's what we want to get. Let's put up these commodity prices because we had a report out here today. Let's see what happened in this to the equities in this report. Okay, so so wheat got hit. So we, if you're watching Tiger TV, this is a commodity screen that I have up here, folks. Okay, so let's see. Corn was down two and a half pennies. You had soybeans up twelve and a half pennies. Wheat was down thirteen. Okay, let me look at this wheat for a second. So wheat's 757. Yeah, it's not a, not a downtrend anyway. One second. Yeah, it's not bad. That's probably bottoming out. Oh, something that I do want to bring up. Uh, Jeff was just bringing up the emerging markets, right? So check this out. This is something to keep your eye on, folks, okay? The Hang Sang. It was up 2.7% last night. This thing almost looks like it's bottom to me. So as we've been going up, folks, you know, the Hang Seng has been going down. And if we put this, you're going to look at this, been really going down. So we're at 24,000 right now. This is down from 31,000 in February. Of, so just a year ago. Okay. Now, what it did is this. Look what it did. And there is an ETF. There's a couple ETFs. Um, that we can trade in the U.S. on this. And if you trade them, well, here, let me go through this for you first. Okay, so we go back to March of the pandemic, right? You can see the, the volumes there are extraordinary, 22 billion shares. They came back with 6.5 billion, come back with 9 billion, and then we just took off topside. The week's not over, just one day. Um, okay, but that is telling me, I mean, this is something I'm going to wrap my head around because... You know, it, that's telling me this thing wants, wants higher price. I mean, it looks to me like this thing wants, well, another five or 600 easy. And if you get that, then that's going to put game on all the way up to this, this high, which is 31,000. And, uh, yeah, it used to be the FXI. Let me go look at this because I, I haven't traded this thing like seven or eight years. So the FXI, this is good. It, got, this, it has a lot of... Uh, Liquidity, 31 million shares. They invest at least 90% of their securities. Yep, you got Alibaba, you got Tencent. Okay, so it has everything we need. Let's go take a look at this. Okay, so you can see this came off the lows. Put this on a weekly. Yeah, this is a good setup, man. You can see the same thing. So look at this. The March lows of 235 million. We came into it with 99 million, 177 million, and then we just went topside. This thing wants to run up to 42. You're at 38, but something to, something to keep your eye on. EEM. Let's see what we have here. This is, must be emerging markets. Thanks, Jeff. Um, okay, so this is the emerging market. And this head must have a lot of different holdings because this is like small caps, I believe. I see. No, this is, no, these are big stocks. Taiwan, so they, oh, these are big stocks. Just happened in emerging markets. Okay. So you get Taiwan Semi, Tencent, Samsung, Alibaba, 
Reliance Industries, China Construction. Okay, so this one here, same setup, man. Yeah. Yeah, this is good too. See, this, you know what's going to get really interesting here is that when I, when I actually saw this this morning, I'm saying to myself, oh, this is going to be wild. Because if, in fact, you know, China and the emerging markets have finally, you know, are going to turn the corner. I mean, we've been hearing, <laughs> it, see, it seems like my whole career in the, in, the, uh, in the finance business, I've been hearing that emerging markets are going to be great. And it seems like once they're segmented, it just never seems to happen. But um, that's a good, that's a good looking shot. That, that's, the, that's the bottom line. That is a good looking shot. We go over to the XAU and the HUI. I suspect both of these we're going to have some good uh, action in. They got the XAU right now that's trading up 256. We are at 131.81. And what we want to see is that yesterday, okay, 23 million shares. The highs up here have 15 million and 27 million. So that's not bad. Go look, look at the Gold Bugs Index. The gold bugs index right now is up 350 at 256. That's 17 million. The highs uh, 11 and 20. So both uh, both of them are basically approaching those highs, and I expect that what you are going to see is. Uh, we're going to have some volume. The real question is, is it going to have enough volume to blow that uh, baby away? Some of the, let's go look at some of the higher volume stocks in this market. And this is going to be a low volume market out here. We have uh, Microsoft's up 351. We'll go back to that because I want to see how the type of volume is going up. With Tesla's up $43, we'll go back to that one. You get uh, Meta Platforms is down two. Let's do those three. So where did I start off with here? One second. N Nv NVIDIA? No. What was up? There it is, Tesla. Well, Tesla has some volume. Yeah, so Tesla's, they're buying Tesla hand over fist again. This wants to go to the high. Okay, so Tesla, Facebook. And when I'm looking for Facebook, I'm actually looking for Facebook for, the, uh, for it to contract, the volume to contract as it's coming below yeah, it is. Okay, well, we went to a high eye. This, yeah, this can still get down to that 313 area. Um, Vista, gold, catching some sort of a bid out here, finally. Uh, it's up four cents right now, 76. And, you know, when you take a look at this, I mean, the next, next move up here is for the 86 cents. And... The flak's going to come in on this equity at 91. That's how this shakes out. But, you know, what, and we'll see where that shakes out. It, but I suspect it's going to get up to 91 once it starts moving. And what does happen is this. What you, what you are going to see right now inside of the gold market is this. If you're in the gold equities, folks, or the silver equities, it'll be worth it to try to figure out what price they really start printing money hand over fist. Most of the companies that basically are producers at these prices right here, they start making money like in a monster way, not in a small way. I mean, in a monster way, because what ends up happening, everything is going to the bottom line, you know, and that's that, that's talking about you get the ore, you crush the ore, you take care of the land after it. Uh, you know, at 1827, if we start getting up to where I think we're going to get up to, you will see moves that um, will put your hair on fire. <laughs> Kidding. I had to say that. <laughs> Especially if you get red hair. And it really goes on fire. Really cool. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Dow Industrials uh, up 53. NASDAQ up 43. S&P's up 15 and a half. We'll come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 72, Nasdaq's up 49, S&P's up 16 and a half. And if we go take a look at these uh, ETF structures, folks, you get the SPY right now. We are trading up a buck sixty, and you get the contraction. You get fifty-seven million shares. We take a look at the uh, NDX one hundred, the three Qs. Same setup. You got uh, you're up a buck sixty. You get fifty million shares. Yesterday we had sixty-eight. You can see what's going on here. Um, that being said, though, guess what? You get a nice trading market here, man. If this is a, if this is a consolidation, like I think it is, it'll it'll go out to a larger consolidation you know meaning coming back to october 4th but that still wouldn't be bad we we hang in a consolidation for a year year and a half whatever that's going to be um that wouldn't be bad if we're not in a consolidation the way this would shake out is this is that you like the last here well, let's, let me put this up up quick so you can see how this shakes out okay so the way that we're set up right now is that You've come down three times. You've come down with volume. You go back topside with light volume. So that's that's how this brings up that the October date bottom line. I think 350s game. What you'd like to see is this: when you, if you're a bull, what you'd like to see is that you'll you'll break this last low that was established out here at the 369. But you actually want a straight line move. The reason being, you want a straight line move is it exhausts the energy out of the marketplace, the selling energy. What you don't want to see happen is this. We don't want to see that it comes down right before the 350 
and then you start going sideways. That's a problem. That's a huge problem. So we have plenty of time for that, but the bottom line, I think, just get you a heads up so you can really understand it. If you really want to understand the out of time in the trade, just go to Amazon. It's on Amazon. Real easy to get. And uh, you'll get the whole, basically, trading system. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Thanks so much for being out there joining us, folks. Come back and join Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 in the morning. Great show. Bam! Go get him, folks.